Welcome back to Beyond the Trailer six-part special report on talent to watch in 2013. After shining a spotlight on actors Daniel Radcliffe, Dane DeHaan, Chloe Moretz, and Jonathan Groff, now let's turn our attention behind the camera to some directors also set to turn heads this year. First up, Steve McQueen. No, not that Steve McQueen, this one. The British film director so far most famous for discovering Michael Fassbender. Well, at least he should be. But while he might have discovered Fassbender, the sad thing is, is that he doesn't get much credit for it. That's about to change, though, as Fassbender continues to stay loyal to McQueen, and at the same time, McQueen learns to play the Hollywood game. Not that it's been easy. Years ago, McQueen dropped out of the famed Tisch School of the Arts because he felt it wasn't experimental enough. Therefore, he started out more as an artist who showed his highly experimental films in art galleries, rather than as an outright narrative filmmaker. But building his reputation as an artist paid off, and when he went to the Cannes Film Festival with his first feature film, Hunger, he won the prize for Best First Time Director. Hunger was Fassbender's first starring role, and thanks to a slew of acting nominations and wins as the film swept the festival circuit, Hollywood quickly came a-calling. But as I said, Fassbender has stayed loyal to McQueen, and it's a relationship that has paid off for both of them, as it does for many great actor-director combinations. Fassbender and McQueen teamed up again in 2011 for Shame, a stark and brutal look at sex addiction. But while Shame also garnered much praise and many award nominations as well as wins, it was still too, well, experimental for mainstream audiences and therefore the big studios. It was even snubbed by the Oscars. So this year, Fassbender and McQueen are going to try it again, but this time they're going to be a little smarter about it as well, not to mention get some help from Brad Pitt. Pitt, who's becoming perhaps a better movie producer than movie star, has handpicked McQueen to direct 12 Years a Slave, the true story of a free black man kidnapped in the North in 1853 and sold into slavery in the South, where he remained for 12 years until a lawyer helped win his freedom. That lawyer will be played by Brad Pitt, the black man in question by Chiwetel Ejiofer, and Michael Fassbender as the slave owner. Paul Giamatti, Paul Dano, Benedict Cumberbatch, and recent Oscar nominee Quavon Jene Wallace round out the cast, all of whom are in an excellent position to ride Django and Chain's blazing coattails. See? Why should Fassbender and McQueen keep to themselves when they can have a whole team? After all, Hollywood is a town built on relationships. So as Steve McQueen learns to play the Hollywood game, do you think it will strengthen his filmmaking or hurt it? And can McQueen ever hope to make as big an impression on audiences as Fassbender has? Write your thoughts down below, and be sure to check out the rest of the episodes in BTV's special report on talent to watch in 2013.